Okay, this video is graphing by slope-intercept form of an equation. Okay, now the slope-intercept form of an equation is something where you have y and you have some sort of number like 3 sevenths, you have an x and you have another number like negative 2. Okay, we have found out that this number in front is the slope of your line. Now it just so happens that this other number here is one of the two intercepts of your line. In this case we call it B and that stands for the Y intercept of the line. The Y intercept of the line is negative 2. Now once you have it in this form uh, it's really easy to graph. As a matter of fact, you're only about 30 seconds away from drawing the graph. If your equation is not in this form already, then you can take those two steps I showed you on earlier equations and put it into that form. Okay, now I call this the two-picture method. Okay, so the two-picture method, I first of all draw a picture of what a positive slope looks like. I put my triangle underneath the line always. Okay, and I notice on the fraction it has a 3 higher than a 7. So I put a 3 higher than a 7 on my picture. What that tells me then is how to get from one point to another point. I go over 7 and up 3. Or if I'm at this point, I could go down 3 and to the left 7. So all I need now is a starting point. And that's where my second picture comes in. My second picture says, take this number, okay, and draw a little xy axis. And this says that it crosses the y axis right there at negative 2. Sorry, I wrote a 3 at negative 2. Therefore, that becomes my starting point. So now all I do to graph my line is I put in my x and y axis. I go down here to negative 2. There's my starting point. That's picture right. And now I take this picture here and I merely translate that right down like that. In other words, I go over 7 and I go up 3 and there's another point on the graph. Okay, or I could go, there's up 3 and down 7. I could go down 3 and over 7 to the left. Here is my final line. Okay, there is the, the actual equation. And what you can see is you've got little stairs. Over 7, up 3, over 7, up 3 over 7, up 3. By the way, your final line, you do not need to have the triangles in your picture. Okay, so they're just in there to help you understand how I found the points. And all I did to find the points is I took my little picture up here and I just translated it down like that so I'm starting at negative 2. Okay, let's try another one very quickly. Uh, let us assume that after we have solved for x, I have negative 3 twos, x plus 4. Here is my first picture. I draw a negative line and I put a 3 over a 2. Here is my second picture. I draw an xy axis and on the uppy downy, the y axis, at positive 4, I put my starting point. Now I go to my graph. And right here at 4, I put my first little x. Now what I'm going to do is take this picture right there from my little picture, and I'm going to draw it right down there. So I'm going to go over 3, uh, sorry, over 2, and up 3, and put an x. Over 2, doo -doo -doo -doo, up 3, put an x. Or down 3, and over to put in X. And when you're through, there is your line. Okay, 
This time I put my little squares in as dotted lines. And I, I remember that's not part of the answer. The, the answer is just this line here. But you'll see again, I am mimicking this picture up here. On each one I'm going over two, up three, over two, up three, over two, up three, in the negative direction, just like this picture says. So what you should try and do is see if you can get a gut feeling for what a slope that like that looks like. That's a really important part of this. You must have an understanding of what a slope like that looks like. And the whole equation, if you put it into some sort of form, we usually write it as y equals mx plus b. And that's called the slope-intercept form of the equation. Okay, there is the y-intercept, there is the slope. 